This is somewhere I've been looking forward to visiting. We're in the Chicago area today at the Hamilton Collection HQ. I'm going to be catching up with Steve to talk about the car that he promised he would never buy, but has now bought a Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster and the plans ahead with it. Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where this is a seriously cool garage. We're going to go for a bit of a tour, a look around, talk about the cars coming in the future and and of course, check out the Lambo, take it out for a run. So what are we waiting for? We're here in the US on the Dark Horse Tour. Let's head inside, go find Steve and the gang and go have a look around. No walk-ins, appointment only. Am I welcome to come in? Did you schedule an appointment? I think so. All right, you're good, come on in, come on in. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you, my guy. We're welcome here. To, yes. Hamilton Collection HQ, this is cool. Yeah. It's so, I've actually been out here before. Yes. Caught up with Tommy Natalia and the crew. Uh -huh. You weren't here at the time. No, I was not here. But it did not look like this. So there's a lot that has come in and come out in this collection in the last few months. Literally $12 million worth of cars have left. And we have nearly that much coming back into this collection <laughs> in, in the next quarter. So crazy. So the cars crazy. are changing around big time, but the garage is cool. It's pretty cool, isn't it? We've, we spent a lot of time and, and labor of love into this, so. We, we really love the way that it turned out. The whole office area, yeah. boardroom, yeah. everyone working. The view from upstairs, we've got to go upstairs in a bit. Massive amount, I mean, $200,000 worth of parts up there. <laughs> and one part we had to hide. Oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep that one hush hush. Um, yes. But we're going to come back to the new acquisition. I think I should say congratulations. I think the Senna's newer than when I was Yeah, it's newer, here. it's this year. Yeah. Um, obviously the Aventador. We've been out together in the 765 Spider. Yeah, and I just wanted to point out that we're, we have something in common with you, and we're one of vi very few people in the world that have wrecked the Senna. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. I love the direction you took that. I'm liking the theme, though. Talk, talk to us about the theme and all of this, because you've got gym, arcades, yeah. seating areas, yep. and Tetris on the walls. So I'm a child of the 80s. I always try to make super comfortable living spaces. Like, we want it to feel very homey. Um, and because I'm from the 80s, I like a lot of 80s stuff. So we have the, the Tetris, which serves as a dual purpose. So those are actually sound deadening squares so that we can be in here filming without massive echo. Um, ah. And it looks really cool. It looks really cool. So these yes. are kind of just stuck on the wall. I, I should yeah. take some inspiration from that. Yeah, that, yeah, you should, you should. So well, we didn't just try to do like stereotypical 80s stuff. We actually went and looked at what home, like if you watch Stranger Things, the way that we decked out our offices and conference room, the tile, it's actually like, real what what it would have felt like walking to a home in the 80s um, and okay. that was the goal we picked some of these games are early 90s but by and large we picked 80s games my brother and i who love old retro games spent a bunch of time um, figuring out which games to get and so these are always fun i, I um, like i'm this is the kind of stuff i really like when i go and visit garages just seeing the cool things that you accrue and yeah. accumulate and how every every collection always tells the story of that person. Yours sure. is like 80s color. The seating, <laughs> like the bright yeah. pink chairs right here. I love the design, the styling, the setup, the, the whole theme of the garage. Yeah, yeah. And then we even, uh, we have the ping pong table, we have the bags, and we use those a lot, the badminton, which got kind of scooted to the side, but like this is all stuff that we use. And so we're, we're all about like sharing the cars with the community. So a lot of this is to make it a, a happy, fun place to bring the community into the public. Yeah. Just super cool. Then next to all of the arcade machines, before we get distracted and spend our lives playing on this Pac-Man <laughs> or Mario or Donkey Kong, gosh, throw back and a half. You've then got your gym. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I was traveling about really loyal to my trainer. I was traveling about 25 minutes every day to get to the gym. I'm like, I just need to build a gym because I don't live far from here. So he comes here and trains our whole team every single morning. All of us work out. And uh, Tommy's putting on some muscle too, <laughs> believe it or not. That's a good way to do it. Heck yeah. You got yeah. the court set up here as well. This is our, our, yeah, our makeshift badminton court that's not the right size at all. <laughs> we, should, we should improve that um, for sure. <laughs> so cars, okay, there's a fair few things around. Yeah. Last time we went out together in your 918. Yep. 918 is just out having some things done with it? 918 is still in the, so we're, we're missing a lot here because as you know, there's cars break a lot, right? You yeah. probably have cars in the shop all the time. That's just the way that it happens. So 918 is actually not broken. It's in the shop getting wrapped. Haven't revealed yet, but it's gonna look really cool. Um, the Mercedes G-Wagon that we just made public, just as new as the Ventador that we got there, that is getting- Yeah, you've got a four by four squared. 
Yes. Jealous. Love it's, that thing. It's wonderful. Um, that's getting PPF'd. And then we have the Pagani Waira is getting, oh, it just had a major, the Pagani Waira just had a major service done. And then what else am I missing, Tommy? Veyron. Oh, the Veyron. And of course the Bugatti Veyron is getting a major service done. So four very heavy hitting, awesome cars, not currently in the collection. Um, so and a bunch of really nice, a bunch of really neat cars on the way, as I mentioned. Talking of which, my car's returned. Your guys are very kindly oh, cleaned awesome. that up and made it nice and tidy. And it's Why now, it <laughs> it's, it's driven into uh, HQ. And, and it's raining outside, so it's yeah, instantly typically. dirty. Hey, I'm British. I bring the rain wherever I go. <laughs> I bring the rain. Can I we come it. and have a look over here? Because this, yes. this wall is pretty cool. Well, you gotta, you gotta get the, the, the family portrait up there first portrait. too. <laughs> That's amazing, <laughs> you actually. We took a little inspiration from Step Brothers. Um, <laughs> so this is our, we have some awesome followers and fans and this is our wall of all the fan art, uh, pictures, things that they've made and sent to us, letters that they've written. So um, we wanted to display these proudly because we're proud of them. You know, I took a lot of inspiration from you guys because I put a ski box on the top of my SF90 and yes. also then on the Ford GT, which I had awesome. seen you do with the Chiron, which looked yes, amazing. Yes, awesome. I hope you didn't scrape the bottom of it in a driveway like we did. No, I, I, I escaped. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't go to David Dobrik's driveway, but I, I did <laughs> escape the driving. Good. I love it. I love <laughs> this it. This is fun. That's cool. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. There's some crazy stuff. Like, there's some stuff that really took some time that people put a lot of effort into. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. That's nice. We're I love that fortunate. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That is a big old beastie, isn't it? Yes, this is, this is from your, your home country, of course, the Rolls Royce. <laughs> uh, Mandarin orange interior, we fully spec this out. I ordered it from the factory, waited a good solid year. We threw a Mansory kit on it. Um, we had uh, a lot of the chrome stuff painted black. And then, of course, the Vossen 24-inch wheels that we did on here that have the floating center cap from... Those are actually the factory caps. They just yeah. milled it so they fit in there. Um, <laughs> those wheels are ridiculous. I mean, this car is actually ridiculous. I mean, the amount of, like... It, it literally has heated and cooled seats, massaging seats, reclining seats, the footstools come up. There's TV trays, TVs, starry headliner, umbrellas in the doors, which of course happens in all of these things, which right? Which obviously match the interior color scheme. Uh, I think they're just D black. Do they? Oh, okay. Do they make oh, just, it in orange? I, I, I don't know. Oh, now, now you make me wonder. Next one. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, the, yeah, maybe the next one. Um, oh, and then curtains. Yep. You gotta have curtains or drapes. It's just crazy. It's a Everything. great car. <laughs> then if I didn't mention it as a Mansory kit, I think I did, but yeah, yeah, Mansory yeah. kit, yep. This is the car that I've had longer than any of the cars. So right now we have about 20 cars and, and we've sold a lot. A lot are coming, like I mentioned, but this one I've had longer than them all. I've had this since like 2008. It's my 1967 Chevelle, 496 big block in it. It's got a four speed Muncie transmission. There's no, no security back in the day. They just did the hood release. Where was this? It's been a while. There it is. Back in the day, it was just right down there. You can come in, steal an engine. <laughs> uh, but this thing is, is a beast. It's fun. I was thinking of doing an LS swap to fuel injection, but it's just too much fun having the raw carbureted fuel motor. So the way you talk about the Chevelle, yes. I find fascinating because your collection is mostly modern supercars, hypercars. Yeah, cars. yeah, yes. But you clearly love that thing. It's, it's like a car that you can take out on a nice summer day. It doesn't have air conditioning, so it has to be like a, there's a small window where this thing makes <laughs> sense. But it's fun to just go beast it. Like the kids love it. And just to, when you're angry, just to go <laughs> thrash through the gears. Go take it's it for really a drive. Fun. Yes. Then um, before we come to this end, uh -huh. uh, R8. Yes. You've had for a while as well. Yes, this was a uh, AMS twin turbo kit that we had done. This was actually a wrecked vehicle. Um, and we got it really cheap. I paid like $80,000 for this and it's a maritime blue. So it's the only RWS car that they made in this color that whole year. This is one of one oh, wow. on that. Um, aftermarket wheels, of course. And then as I mentioned, the twin turbo. So it does yeah. a little bit over a <laughs> thousand. Yeah. I love how you just see them poking out the back. I know, right? So thousand horsepower. Um, what else did we do to this thing? Uh, I mean, the carbon spoiler, that's, that's tasty, that's tasteful. Yeah. And then of course we have all of our nice and unique license plates that we do because yeah, yeah. We, like to be, we like to be funny like that. So coming past the 765, of which course. I had a lot of fun with. You let me drive that around the track. We, yeah. did, a, we did a recording in it on the yeah. drive back home. Yes. Late at night, everything running behind schedule. <laughs> Car <laughs> events, we it's all know just, how it goes. So it always goes. But this is also really cool. Yeah. Because you've got the seating area for yep. you guys just out in the main building. You've yeah. got the office space behind, yeah. boardroom space. <laughs> You've got <laughs> the restrooms for Natalia and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and you can see the tile kind of peeking through there where yeah. it's like super 80s colors and theme. I'm gonna mention that you've got a, a schmoo the cow chilling on your shelf there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, thank you New very visitor. much. That's amazing. We love it. Absolutely. We love it. But you've just rolled with the theme everywhere. This is so cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it makes me, I don't know. It just, it brings warm, fuzzy feelings inside me. And then Aiden, are you editing a video, buddy? Oh, you know what? I got to show you something in here too. So it's top secret, of course. Of course, you're not going to publish this, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we have this lovely other family portrait of Tommy and myself. And then behind <laughs> it is our, is our safe. And um, no, yeah, Katie, so we're, we gonna, we we're gonna go see. like this. And then you have, I think most of the keys. Ah, oh, the keys are all sitting out The keys there. are all out. <laughs> well, next time. No keys here, they will have this to wait for the Yes. Uh, and we'll just shut that, just, yeah. There's nothing yeah. there, we didn't yeah, see anything. Yeah, just cut that out, yeah. We didn't see anything, nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, conference room I love, I actually do a lot of like, I do a lot of my business calls in here. We do yeah. some of our meetings in here and Natalia and Tommy are hanging out. And like the backdrop of, and those are actually my cars that we did yeah. some CGI with, but the backdrop of, of the 380s cars just kind of, I don't know, I, I love seeing that in, <laughs> on video conferences and it's just super cool. I and the know. kitchenette. What's he about to do? Uh, we'll move for you guys. No. What's you're good, up? you're good. Come on in. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We're in the meeting. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're pretending like they're working. Yeah, so we gotta call somebody. Working hard or hardly working? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's sure to come on the day. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. There they are. Keys. Nice. All of the keys. Yes. Lots lots of keys. All keys. Oh, she scooted. Nice, nice. <laughs> Mustang Blending key. the Mustang one in. I love it. <laughs> I freaking love it. This is a this is an Iron Gate community, so there's about a hundred plus garages here and um, lots of high value cars, so we get to just cruise around in the golf cart to other, other garages. So you want to go we, upstairs? Can, can we be nosy and go and have a look? All right, we'll take a look. We'll Get, take a look. You, you've got more tires up there. Yes. Than cars in the collection. Yeah, so I mean, obviously I own Fitment Industries, customoffsets.com. If you're looking for wheels and tires, that's the place to go. And um, because, because of that, I have to put wheels and tires on every freaking vehicle. Yeah. Even the, the Escalade V series that I have, I even had to take off these specialty wheels that come on it, which I don't usually like doing. And we put some Vossens on there as well. Yeah. There's the uh, <laughs> ski box. There's the ski box that we talked about. This is a uh, camera apparatus. A lot of tires. These are like brand new too. I wonder why we have new t unused tires up here. For something. Some of it doesn't make sense. There's my court, my old C8. I had a Pandem wide body C8. Yeah. The Random wheels don't make sense anymore. This is my Lamborghini Urus old exhaust. Okay. Oh, there's some like $30,000 Bugatti headlights sitting somewhere. There they are. <laughs> it's crazy that I know the feeling of just random it's stuff. It's crazy to me, but like this is thirty grand just sitting on this crappy. They own parts are right really here. expensive. I know. Like, did you wait? Did you upgrade from this, those to the newer headlights? Yeah, we did, okay. and they're not working quite right. That's one of the reasons it's in the shop. They flash a little too fast, so okay, working through that. Um, and then we have where did my new exhaust? So we have two new exhaust systems coming in. One of them is for the Veyron, one of them is for the Aventador SV. As soon as I get cars, I have to modify them right away. That's, that's kind of me. I don't know where they are. And what, are they? Before we go down, before yeah. we go down. Yeah. That's a cool view. It is when there's more cars in here. We need to get them out of the shop and, and get them back here. Get everything back here and all the new stuff. Yeah, so we have a Ramac Navera. In the next three months, we have a Ramac Navera, Bugatti Chiron SS coming in, a Lamborghini Revuelto. And then we also ordered a bunch of other cars that are coming later next year. One of them I can't mention, but it's only but one of 12. You, you can't mention. I'm going to hold you there. Yes. But yes. the cars you can mention, the cars because can. this list is nuts. Yes. The Pugani, we also have the Pagani Utopia. We have the Koenigsegg Jesko, the Koenigsegg Jumeirah coming in. Just finished specking both of those in the factory in Sweden. <laughs> so there's more that I'm missing. But This is mad. It's not bad. Your garage is going to be absolutely mad. And, I, and I, keep, I keep my dailies at home too. Yeah. Um, so you we came keep in the Eurus today. What's outside. that? The Eurus that's outside. Yeah, the Eurus. And then we have the Escalade V-Series back at home. My wife has a Jeep Rubicon 392 that we supercharged. Got a Tesla Model X. That's that's a great city cruiser. Yeah. Throw it on autopilot. So the previous center became a new center. <laughs> it just changed a bit, right? Yeah, yeah, in one way or another, yeah. Um, <laughs> the previous one I did like the spec a little bit better with the Napier green. It was it was cooler, but this yeah. one is really nice. This one actually has diamond, true diamond dust in the paint. Um, we added some other flair, but I think we need to, I think we went a little too heavy on the red pinstriping, so. I don't think it's too bad. Some people go crazy on it. And it ties uh, with the- The roof scoop looks great. The painted aero, yes. calipers and center yes. locks. They're just maybe a little too much, but maybe not. Maybe it looks okay. The 765, definitely. We definitely did too much. Too many pinstripes. That, too much orange. Go. It's like orange, yes. orange, and some yes. more orange. Yes. Would you like orange, sir? <laughs> or would you like blue citrus? Yes. On the SV. I've got to say, you know, when it comes to Aventadors, of all the different cars, the original LP700, mm -hmm. the SVs, the S, the SVJs, the Ultimates, 
the SV and particularly the Roadster is probably the one that people down the line are going to say is the best of the bunch. Yeah, I think so too. And, and driving it, I'm seeing if there's a little chip on there. Huh. Maybe that's just PPF. But I agree totally. After driving this and I had the, I had the base model before, this, this feels like a completely different car. It looks like a completely different car. I, I love this thing. And it's, this particular spec is awesome. So one of 500, Aventador SV, roof panels go in the front, which obviously you knew how to do. I had to look up one of Shmi's videos to learn how to do that. It was, it was amazing. I that love it. That is a how-to, how to take the roof yes. off an event store. It came stuff. in handy. They're a little complicated. They are yes. a little complicated. Yes. Did you consider an SVJ or were you like, nah? I did, but they were like 900,000 to a million dollars. It, it didn't make sense to pay yeah. another $400,000 on top of that. Like, I don't know, didn't add up. But you'll have this with the Revuelto together. Yes, and then the cool. Urus, but I don't know if we count that. Have you done the spec of the Revuelto publicly? So, actually, I don't know. We did then we not. can't say it now. We you'll have not. to tell me off camera. Yeah, yeah. But you know what we need to do if you're up for it? Can we grab the key and go take this out for a short Of hop? course, yeah. I think it, if it's not raining. That doesn't uh, matter if it is. It's all-wheel drive. Uh, and it's pouring with rain outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, well, oh, no. you want to do. Oh, no, I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh well, well, we'll go with the flow. All right, that sounds good. Here we are. I was not expecting to be in this seat. Uh, yeah, but well you, you, you gotta, you gotta drive. But this here we are. It's too fun not to drive. Aventador SV. Sounds good, doesn't it? it so does. it's interesting actually for me to drive this right now because I've just driven Revuelto, the yeah. successor. Yeah. So that was the last. Aventador V12 Lambo, I should say, not Aventador. Stepping back and stepping back yeah. in time then. So it'll be kind of interesting to go this way and just be reminded how this stacks up. Yeah. See if I wasn't going crazy when I drove that thing, what I thought about it. Mm -hmm. um, I think you might like this better, but who knows? I haven't driven the Revolto, I have no, yeah, no way of knowing. Tell you what, the, uh, the weather isn't, um, it's, it's all not we'll, great. It's all we'll drive. I know, but it's still like, you want to go, you want to take a supercar out I'm, and go. I'm performance tires. Yeah, and go and enjoy it, but yes, I agree. here we are. Carefully does it. That pulls away gently. <laughs> it's kind of smooth. The steering is so much different on this than the, the base Aventador. I don't know what they did, but it's much more manageable. Well, the, the model grew so much, right, from when yeah. it was introduced through to the later models. Yeah, they built but it forever. The thing is, it's, it's in automatic. Never drive these things in automatic, right? No, they're the worst car to drive in automatic. You have to paddle shift. Going past Chicago motor cars. Should I drive on the English side of the road? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd, that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> That would be a lot of fun. I mean, definition of fun. You can make a whole vlog out of that. <laughs> it would get adventurous very quickly. Yeah, here we are on the highway into Chicago. Uh, Should we go left or right? Um, I would say left. Let's go left. That sounds good. The thing is, this is semi-auto, right? So the clutch is, just takes a moment of getting used to. Yes. Have you driven Aggressive. this much yet? Uh, I've probably put 100 miles on it, so it's okay. only been here like two weeks. So it's new to the collection, brand new. Yes. But you presumably did a fair amount of miles in your original event. Before. Yeah, definitely. We put like seven, 8,000 miles on that one. Yeah. If there's one thing I know about Hamilton collection cars is that you aren't afraid to drive them. We put and so many miles on the stuff. I have a lot of respect for that because Thank that's you. what these kind of things are for. They're to be enjoyed, to share them, to let yeah. people get an experience of them and to explain what they're about and yep. understand them. Absolutely. Yeah, your head. <laughs> I'm sorry. A very aggressive single, uh, single clutch. Dance. And I tried to be gentle with it as well. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, this. I tell you what. In comparison, this is so much rawer yes. than Revolto. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's a different thing. Obviously, the shift is nothing the same. I love the dual clutch in the new car. Yeah, it's, it's simply awesome. And I love the fact that they kept a V12. Plus the hybrid motor's gotta also make the shifting even more smooth. Oh, let's get out of that. That's okay. Whatever we just washed this car like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Dust. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. One no, of the benefits of being in that community is the car washes yeah. 50 feet away. That makes it easier. Very the, much. Thing, the thing in here straight away is that this car is so much more even the sound, like Revuelto sounds amazing, yeah. but I think every new generation of every car just 
has to get more vanilla, has to get plainer. Yeah. And I know there are cars that you and I do not see eye to eye on. Sure. Uh, I absolutely love my SF90. Uh -huh. You haven't been the biggest SF90 fan. Can't stand fan. it. Um, your spec was really lovely though, by the way. Thank you. White over the yellow unique. interior. Yeah, very like, unique. Really, really nice. Um, you should I'm, buy it, uh, get a second one. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a totally different thing. Even Revuelto is a totally different thing. Yeah. This just sounds nuts. I love it. It's, it's crazy how, from the Countach to the Diablo to the Mercy to this, how, how there are ties. I mean, it's the, basically the same block, right? Yeah. It's just yeah. crazy how similar the sound carried through the generations of cars. That's right. The thing is, this system is... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, this okay. One, so this is a 16, and it still doesn't have Bluetooth for... It has it for phone, but it doesn't have it for... No Bluetooth music in the 2016. Media. But no Bluetooth music in the later Ventadors, really. They, they just... It's crazy. They went with this super, super, super old... They're so behind, it's crazy to me. I wonder what Revelto will be like in 10 years when they're still being made. <laughs> <laughs> when they're still being made. It's they really a... ride out their, their cars for a long time, don't they? Yeah. The Countach was, what, like 15 years of production? Something crazy like that? Even more, I think 17 That's... or 18. Oh my gosh. So up into sport now. It's violent. Yeah. I massively prefer these seats, though. Most yeah. SVs have the bucket seat. Or maybe that's only in Europe. I'm not even I don't sure. Because um, bucket seats out here are often not allowed. But this is this is massively more back friendly. Oh, definitely. The Revuelto seat is a huge step forward, by the way. Okay. You will enjoy driving that car a lot. Oh, I can't wait. Like a lot. How Coming far, soon. Do you know how far away it is? Do you know when you I think it's it? January. Okay. They That's... said they're producing it. They're manufacturing it as we speak. Okay. So it must come over on a boat and just take a bit of yep. time. Oh, yes, this sir. is. This is much more of a beast than needs manhandling. <laughs> in comparison. But it feels nice. so dramatic. And once we get that flame shooting exhaust on it and tune in just a little bit, it'll be all the more fun. Any insights in what the plan is? Apart from flame shooting exhaust. Um, <laughs> that's number one. I don't wanna I mean I think we might have found an exhaust even better than Gantani, so that's I, I think we that's did. A claim. We'll see. That's we'll a see. claim. We'll see. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Uh-huh. Even just driving in traffic normally. Yeah. There's no there's no way to put your elbows. No. I'm sitting here like <laughs> No, nope. just on something. Just on, on carbon, yeah, random just on pieces solid, of carbon. Solid. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I do love how this has way more carbon than my base. The but this, did. this right now is stock. Yeah. This is stock exhaust. Yeah, that's stock. Oh, they they did a they did the Lamborghini dealership upgrade where it's I forget what they call their brand that they upgrade to, but it really sounds a lot like stock. I did it on my Urus as well, and, and it okay. sounded no different. Interesting. Go through the so sleepy great. communities. It's a nice drive too. In full Good ambience. Why is the weather like this? <laughs> this is what Chicago. Did did you I brought it here. Yeah, it's my yes. fault. Man. English and Irish weather. The downshifts are mega. The Revuelto shifts are obviously massively cleaner, but they don't do sure. that. They don't do that kind of ferocious. And also, this particular car rides well. Yeah. This is good. The suspension is fantastic. Like, sometimes you get an Aventador's, and I think it varies from car to car. Sure. And they're just a little bit clunkier than others. Yeah. But this is smooth. This is clean. This feels like it's new. This feels like, I mean, it's a couple of thousand miles, but it feels like it's basically just me. Oh, yeah. It was well taken care of. Yeah. Nice. It's been looked after. <laughs> There's quite the weight to the steering. Cars come to our to our collection to die. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we just buy them and then we put a bunch of miles on them, beat them, and then sell them for significantly less money. What you do is you enjoy them. Yes, exactly. But Treat it's worth it. As they were born to be treated. This is where my GTR broke down when we when we got it done after a fresh 2,000 horsepower build. Right here. This is where we parked it when uh, the transmission went out. Someone's had some donut fun as well. <laughs> that was probably us. That might have been the that might have been the cause of the of the transmission breaking. <laughs> oh well, it That's happens. Right. That's true. Have I gone the wrong way? Is it? I mean, I think you could. You have to turn around. I just uh, missed the last exit out of the car park. Do some donuts. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, four wheel drift. <laughs> 
much, much, much harder in an all-wheel drive. Yeah, vehicle. coming to America a week later, I'm in jail because I did something <laughs> I shouldn't have done. Well, I am driving a Mustang around the country, so yeah. I'll find a way to cause some trouble there you somewhere. Go. There you go. A very awesome looking Mustang, I gotta give you that. I'm amazed by how well this drives. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. this is a good car. It is. is. And I bought it, I buy most of my cars sight unseen too, so I didn't actually go get to yeah. test drive one of these. I just trusted it would be a much better car. I actually traded my Countach in for this car, so I went one very rare Lamborghini in came this rare Lamborghini. That's an interesting trade. You traded yeah. Countach to an Aventador. I did, yeah. I just wasn't driving the Countach, and the Countach was exceptionally clean. Yeah. Like crazy clean. So almost like you didn't want to give it the full driving treatment. I it still was... did. I still really beat it hard. That's what she said. But um, <laughs> but it just, it's like, you've driven a Countach, right? I'm sure. No, I've never, what? I've only driven a new one. I've never driven an old what? Countach. What? That's such a shame. But like, it's, it's just crazy and quirky. You can't, you have to take yeah. your shoes off to drive it. You can't see when you're backing up. Everything are straight lines. The windshield wiper only covers like 37% of the windshield. Um, <laughs> and that's part of what makes it magical and special and fun yeah. to drive. But but it's also just, I don't know. This is more fun, I'll drive this more often. Yeah. The, the worst part is that car, will, that Countach will probably be worth $2 million in five, 10 years, and and this won't. You never, never know. know. You never know. I you never mean, know. I go it's backwards true. and forwards on this one because Lamborghini made a lot of Aventadors. They're about 11,500 in total. Um, I think you've bought the right one with the yeah. SV. Just 500 because, roadsters, I think, right? Yeah, 500 roadsters, 600 coupes, 1,100 yeah. total. Whereas SVJs and the Ultimate is basically the same as the SVJ. Together, yeah. there are kind of 2,500. Yeah, um, that's crazy. It's weird that they're going for a million bucks. Yeah, I mean, it's sky high figures. I mean, that's been the, the market positioning with low interest rates and yeah. when things were a little bit more stable, who knows what the future's gonna be yeah. because everything's kind of lost its marbles now but, yeah. and the impact that that has on cars. But I think that of all of the different event doors, this is a good place to be. Yeah. And this this particular one as well, this is nice. The blue, the blue leather inside, yeah. the inserts, the pinstripe, yeah. that's just everything's made really well. You know? It's a clean car. I love the piping that goes around uh -huh. the dashboard. It's a very, the, very clean car. The straps that save probably, I don't know if they had to do this because of the way the door needed to be for the Roadster or if this was to save no. like a tenth of a pound of weight. Yeah, that. <laughs> I love well, how the GT3 RS does a bunch of silly things to save 30 pounds. Yeah, like the, you could have just not had breakfast that day. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> save some more. Exactly. Yeah, first gear downshifts, sound. Must, must do. Mega. The classic burbling of the Lamborghini. This is a car that you know so many people had as a poster on their yeah. wall, yeah. and in the future are going to want an Aventador. Yeah. Like in Absolutely. 20 years time, yeah. it's almost just to have one. I actually quite, in some strange way, and I didn't think I'd ever say this, quite fancy an original LP700. Like a very regular yeah. standard. 2012. As it yeah. Un yes. Untouched. You know, the original orange. Sure. Just, just like, I mean, like that. I mean, there's something special with any launch vehicle. People grow to hate them after 5, 10 years, and then after 15, 20, they grow yeah. to love them. Because that's how it started. Yeah. Gearbox. Yep. The crazy thing about a Lamborghini is you, you can get an Aventador for the upper, two, upper 200s. Yeah. And there's no car that gives you as much clout. For, for 275, 300 yeah. grand, it's an Aventador. Yeah. <laughs> Just drop the gear. That's all right. Let's do some rain drifting. <laughs> it sounds mad at this, this is factory. <laughs> when, you, when you've done exhausts and everything else with this. Oh, it's coming soon. That's going to make it such a big difference. Genuinely and truly, though, this is a great example. This car, I think you've bought well with this. Yeah, thank you. I think the thank previous you. person should not have sold this one. This is like, <laughs> this is, this is clean. That's always the hope. The spec, the way it drives, the way it feels. I hope I'm, to have it for a long time. I'm more impressed just driving this a few miles than I have been in an event door for a while. <laughs> I'm disappointed it didn't come with the clip-in cup holder though. I'm That's sure. kind of a clutch. There's one that, oh no, that doesn't even have, oh, it does have space right here. Yeah. And then right here. That's kind of a necessary thing. 
So open up a little gap just okay. to. Uh, if I want to have a Bud Light when I'm driving, no, I'm just kidding. Sounds are silly. It is impressive. Yes. <laughs> I don't like being a passenger. <laughs> You're right, we're nearly back. I'm never comfortable no? with being a passenger. Even with your extensive driving experience. <laughs> no, you did swell. You did great. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you, you have to well. endure the passengers. Hey, I, this oh, is your fault. Right. You put me in the driver's I, seat. You know what? I trust you wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just apologize for making a complete mess of this. <laughs> when it was all clean and nice and tidy before. That's okay. Now it's an absolute open the door mess. for you. That's pretty smooth. I'll give you that. Not I can bad. pull up, shutter open, yep. center in front. Not bad. That is not bad at Just all. Just need more cars in here, soon. Yeah. That works right here. Nice. Very good. Uh, that was weak. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to deafen more. everyone in here. That's okay, do it. I usually come in here and I just... <laughs> they, they're, they're immune to it, they're just not even looking. <laughs> Nobody even cares. Every time I drive in it, beep, but yes, they don't care, <laughs> they don't care. But hope okay. you had fun. I absolutely had fun, thank you very, very much. Very good. So Steve is rolling out with the Urus. It's actually now drying, which is nice. See you, Steve. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> On that, I suppose we should wrap up for the day. Great fun to come and visit this awesome space and to hear about some of the cars coming. I suspect next year, this is gonna be unreal. Today though, with the SV, has been a whole lot of fun, as you've seen, coming along for the drive in Steve's latest acquisition. And I've been blown away by it. I really quite enjoyed that. But for now, we're gonna be packing things up and getting ready to start the big tour with the Mustang Dark Horse as we now drive thousands of miles, literally, across the United States in this. So thank you very much for watching. Do check out the Hamilton Collection on social media, on YouTube, on Instagram, everywhere else if you haven't already to see more of the cars, more of the future arrivals, and plenty of fun and antics, believe me. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!